Yo guys, Rapid Fire back here on my White Knight Chronicles LP series and we're continuing where we left off. We are now getting closer to our destination point as we have to make our way, um, I'd say about 20 feet away now. So yeah, maybe, maybe, maybe a little, maybe a little further away, say like 35, 40 feet. <laughs> I was a little off on my calculations, but whatever, we can always correct those. <laughs> Alright, here we go. It's battle time again. You're getting out with some more elemental creatures before we get to the end. As well as a few Magi soldiers, because there will be a few Magi soldiers. Alright, come on, Wind Elemental. What you got, buddy? Oh crap, Caesar's in trouble. Heal him, Yuli. Nice save. Ah, oh, crap. I'm trying to put magical barriers on. Oh, crap. He's gonna hit me with a strong Nope. Nice stop, Caesar. Nice stop. Caesar, Caesar totally strategically saved our butts there. Yeah, get, get a taste of your own attack, buddy. And Leonard just keeps on saying every time, how's this? No, I wish you'd say a different cliche than that. You know? Because he overuses the word, how's this? Like, he uses it throughout the whole first game and the whole second game. It's, it's really annoying. It's like, man, can't you come up with a different cliche than that? I mean, at least all the other guys say, you know, different things besides how's this. <laughs> Alright guys, cutscene. Looks like we reached the palace grounds. All the answers we seek lie just ahead. Yes, they Speaking do. Speaking of which, isn't it about time you spilled the beans, old man? I think you owe us the truth. Yeah, that's right. Before we go any further, we need to know. Eldor? Very well. Yeah, we do have a right to have answers, Eldor. I mean, it's great to have you on the team and all, and you're you're proven to be a very loyal comrade. You still got to tell us what's going on I come from ancient here. times, when the Dogma Wars were being waged. I was a soldier in the Athwani army, tasked with protecting the Queen. When we managed to seal the Ishranian Knights, the war between Athwan and Ishrania finally came to a close. But there was a price. In that last desperate struggle, we had lost many of our greatest and wisest men. Without their leadership, the Queen could not control a populace that had grown disillusioned with the war. The realm began to fall apart. And in the mayhem that followed, the Queen was killed. I failed to protect her, as was my duty. I lost everything at once. I had no master, no home. Worst of all, no purpose. And that was when I first heard the prophecy. Ten thousand years hence, Queen Mirius would be reborn. She and the Ishrenian Emperor Medorus would determine the fate of their two civilizations by fighting a final and monumental battle. One too great to be contained by the laws of time. A prophecy? And you believe that? Perhaps you find it difficult to imagine now. But in those days, the words of the prophets were never false. I believed the prophecy, and used forbidden magic to travel to this time. I was determined to protect the Queen. This time, I swore I would not fail in my duty. So, there are spells that let you travel in time. Indeed there are, 
But to use the magic, I had to make a deal with the God of Death himself. I wanted to cheat time, so time is what I had to pay. That is why you see me now as an old man. And did you end up finding your queen? For nearly 18 years, I wandered the land and searched until I did find her. But then those magi appeared and took her away. <laughs> what do you know? It's a small world, isn't it? Sisna? Yes. That's right, lad. Your princess is the reincarnation of Murius, Queen of the Athwani. And now we know the truth, guys. At long last. Meanwhile, back at Griselle's headquarters. Why do you need the power of the knights? What purpose does it serve? Kara, we've been through this. Don't you want to see the Ashrenian Empire rebuilt? Or should I take these questions of yours as a sign that you've lost faith? But why you? I just don't understand why it even matters to you. Some long dead civilization? <sighs> Kara, no one will stand in my way. Do you understand? I am going to rule this world. Uh, brother. What have the people of this era ever done for you? Or for me? Medius tried to kill me. Why? He made me believe that he loved me. Don't you see? I had to punish him. It was... It was because of the special powers we had. That's right. Because people are afraid of power. They fear it, abominate it, and they despise us as a result. The people of this world will never allow us to live in peace. Says who? Your priest friend Ladon? Brother, why do you put any stock in that stranger's words? The Dawn is a messenger from ancient times. He was sent here to help, to guide me in rebuilding the glory that was the Ashrenian Empire. So you really believe it then? You actually think you have the blood of the Emperor in your veins? Yes. I know I do. Brother. My lord, the Archbearers have reached the palace. Good. Then we are ready. And still late, faithful to her unfaithful brother. Wow, Kara, you really took it to a whole new low. It won't be long now, Princess. Or was it your grace, Queen Murius? Griselle, do you honestly believe that's who I am? But of course. In mere moments, you were able to unseal the knight's power, an ability that only the queen possessed. That's why I took you, Highness. So I could bring all of the knight's chosen pact makers together. But wait, I thought you wanted the knights for yourself. That's good. I needed your friends to believe they were acting on your behalf. It wouldn't have done for them to know they were serving my interests. Will you stop at nothing? It's funny you should ask that, Queen Murius. Because if you stand in my way even one more time, you're going to find out the answer. What a dick. That's so, it, Gazelle has got to go down. What's supposed to happen next? Now that Queen Murius has revealed herself, she and the Ishrenian Emperor Madorus will fight their final battle. Also, it goes. Which means he's been reborn too. This Emperor Madorus guy. No, the reincarnation of Madorus was not foretold. What do you mean? 
He cannot be reborn when he never died. What? Medoras unlocked the key to immortality and continues to live in the present day. Thus, the Dogma Ward never ended in a way. Queen Murius was reborn to end them, to defeat Medoras and keep the world safe. Okay, then where is Medoras? I don't know. He's probably in hiding somewhere on this continent. Perhaps living among the people, biding his time until the return of the Queen. It's hard to believe. Enough talk for now. There isn't much more to say. We have to hurry. Yeah, we still gotta stop for sale before he gets his hands on the Sun King. This time, fate's gonna listen to us for a change. No more pain and suffering. I'll fight with you until my dying breath. Yeah, let's put an end to this. All right, guys, so you've heard what's going on. Um, the queen has renounced herself of returning, and Medoras is in hiding and waiting. Um, and it's come down to this, guys. We have to stop Grizel from getting his hands on the Sun King. Otherwise, we are all in trouble. So, let's continue. Uh, we have entered the palace. And uh, now we're making our way there. And the key to this, guys, is you got to take... Um, these warp uh, platforms that take you around the area and you want to make sure you're heading in the right direction otherwise you could be stuck lost down here for a while um but unfortunately this has come to end so when we come back we will continue in the meantime if you guys have enjoyed this make sure to leave a like please i beg you guys leave a comment let me know how i'm doing and of course subscribe to keep up with all my stuff here on gaming AK tactics this has been Rapid Fire. See you guys on the next one. Adios.